Um, okay, so that's that. We got another PSA here. Betaflight yes. needs low-level embedded developers. Yes. Tell so us we're more doing about a this. Yeah, we need people to help with Betaflight. Betaflight needs people to help with Betaflight. So um, they put out the call before, but um, I was talking to the Betaflight devs a little bit about the 4.3 release and moving into 4.04, some of the projects they're doing. And one of the things they said is um, there's a real need for low-level embedded developers. So a lot of the guys know JavaScript. A lot of the guys know like higher level coding and can do like a little bit of random script pasting and all that kind of stuff. But what they really need are people who like know, you know, C really well, who have done like STM chip work, who can use oscilloscope logic analyzers, who like uh, know serial communication. Like, you know, if I say to you, uh, I need you to go troubleshoot whether D what DShot Burst is doing, like uh, when the, you know, this user's putting DShot Burst on this target. Like that's something, you know, they need more people who could do that kind of work. So anybody who's interested in doing that kind of stuff would be great. Um, yeah, it would be awesome. And we've got a link for the Betaflight Discord. Um, mm -hmm. If anybody wants to join over there and go, or you can go to the Betaflight GitHub, of course, and join over there. There's also a Slack for Betaflight, um, anywhere to, to join those guys and help them out, so. Yeah, I know this is something they've struggled with recently uh with some uh, some of these pernicious bugs that they, that seems like they haven't been able to fix and then they yeah. think they fixed them and they introduce new bugs part of that is because they they've got so much low level stuff going on it's extremely difficult to debug and especially if you're not like a super super expert at one point somebody said yeah i think dominic clifton is the only developer who really understands this and so he's the only one who can debug it i'm not sure what specific code they were talking about but it, suffice it to say, it's bad if there's like only one guy in the world who understands part of your code. So if yeah, that's any, you, yeah. yeah. Yeah, anybody who's good at that stuff, like, yeah, they need definitely more help, especially like, you know, somebody will open a bug report or something, and then it, it can take days for the bug report to get solved because they got to find somebody who's available and who can find that hardware and then who can do the anal analysis or who can like dig into the code and figure out what exactly is wrong. And, uh, you know, a lot of that is C++ or C. So yeah, anybody who can help with that would be great uh, to help out. 